What's going on guys, James Corder here and welcome back to a new video. Yeah, I'm currently in Dublin, I literally drove three and a half hours non-stop all the way to Dublin. And um, because this weekend I have got some very important exams to do. Um, won't talk too much on them just now. Uh, right now I'm currently outside my accommodation that I booked. I booked a pound for tonight, so Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday night and I go home then again on Monday. My plan is I'm going to travel around, um, try a few different gyms now because I'm training legs tomorrow. I got push on Saturday. I push on Sunday, sorry, and I got pulled in on Monday morning, I think, before I go home. So yeah, it'd be a cool opportunity to try some cool gyms within Dublin. Uh, I'm kind of like a small bit early for my accommodation, so I'm having my food right now. And also, guys, I'm going to show you as well. I prepped all my meals as well. I prepped loads of food as well to bring with me. Um, I'll show you now how I'm, how I'm staying on track now for this, like, it's not really a holiday. It's more of a work getaway, kind of, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm having my Greek yogurt, 300 grams of Greek yogurt, and I have 250 grams of raspberries. Um, so I'm going to munch that down now quickly before heading and um, get my accommodation sorted. So guys, if you're excited, make sure to smash like, um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Just finished up the meal. That yeah, was very tasty actually after a long drive. Um, just checked in now as well, so I'm going to head into the park for now. I'm actually right outside the door. And um, here we have it, we're number 23. Ooh. Holy shit, this place is class, honestly. This, this room is so big. Holy shit. And the mirrors. Another mirror here. Let's get into the bathroom. Again, this place is stated here. It's actually insane, honestly. Into the kitchen, living area. Like, this is literally all you need, like, if you're on a little bit of a staycation or something. I see, load space, table, sofa. Class seat. I got a cooker to do my own, all my own cooking, so I can stay on track. Got hobs as well if I need to. Got a sink to do all my cleaning. Toaster, kettle, microwave. Most importantly, definitely not falling off track on this weekend. Since in this one, again we got a fridge holding all our food, and we even got a freezer. So yeah, back to the room. What's the bed like? Ugh. I think any bed is going to be comfy after like a four-hour spin. Cause I kind of got lost in the city as well because I was like, um, I was using my phone for Google Maps and I my phone went dead and I swear to God I was driving the city, no clue what was happening. Um, but yeah, we got here now on time, no problems. Um, but yeah, very happy with the place so far. So yeah, where I'm actually staying is actually um, near Leopardstown, so it's like down south of Dublin. This was like the ideal spot because this is only like a 10 minute drive now from where my exams are. So tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday then, I'm gonna have my, I'll have my workshops or whatever from 9 to 5 on a Saturday and a Sunday. So. Um, everything after and before I'm gonna vlog that and um, hopefully hopefully it will create some content and um, make some cool videos maybe try out some cool gyms and uh, hopefully now it'll be just a good weekend so yeah I literally just panned after just dragging all my stuff up the stairs I had like three or four bags of stuff to bring and um, between food and like, clothes and stuff like so um, yeah I'm just gonna chill out now for a little bit just uh, get my breath back maybe watch some TV or something and um, then later on I'm gonna go outside go for a walk just explore the surrounding areas see how good this place is because apparently like this place is meant to be class also when i was like driving up here and um, like driving through the city there like it's the place is class like it looks so cool honestly just looking at all the big huge buildings and like fancy houses and everything is actually class and like even the cars on the road and um, there's so many cool like fucking cars it was actually class so yeah the name of this place is actually brock house suites um i'm not like, i was because i was going to book a hotel and then i was like looking for like an airbnb and like this place then like popped up i don't know how, i don't know how i came across it actually um but it's actually class um, like three nights, um, not not a bad price considering like where it is in the city and stuff. And again, this spot is it's class, like it's top notch. Honestly, this is exactly what you need for a weekend away. And um, like even if I'm even when I'm going on act actual holidays, like I'm planning to get in a place like this, like because it's a lot better than a hotel. And like you can do your own cooking if you want. You can have your own breakfast and maybe go for food and later on or whatever. Like you know, so the op yeah, the options are here. Like make your own coffee and tea and stuff. So um, again, very happy with this. Okay, show me your dedicated without showing me your dedicated. Right here, I'll show you. So you can see I've literally weighed out all my stuff and I brought my supplements as well, I brought my creatine which I actually need to take today because today is a rest day so it's actually ideal that today was a rest day so I could do my travelling as well um, but I still need to get my 5 grams in per day um, that's not actually, that's not the actual creatine tub um, it says creatine on the top there if you see but um, that's an old pre-workout tub so I have my creatine in that and then I have my pre-workout it's going to be stim free because I'm going to be training in the evenings so I'm gonna, I brought a stim free pre-workout in order to you know, so that I won't be taking any caffeine late in the evening, especially when I want to be up early in the morning again. Um, I have three bags of oats, so I have 100 grams of ready brick, so that's going to be my oats for my morning meal. And I have my three packets, so three post-workout meals. I have 
my 75 grams of cocoa pops in each one of these so for after training and then i have my rice crispy squares bars so i'm having two after leg day on saturday which is tomorrow one after push and one after pull so and this bag then i just have a bunch of there's a shot of protein powder then to mix with the pre post workout meal and the pre-workout oats as well and i have some sauces here on the side some caramel sauce just for my raspberries later on my pink salt for my hydration and some barbecue sauce as well for those meals in the fridge which i'll show you right now and here we have in the fridge so we're all stocked up and my sausages for my pre-workout bagel i have turkey rashers i have my raspberries for later on i must get some more actually later because we're going shopping i'm going to go shopping later on and i get some more food and i have my, all my meats here so i have my beef mince turkey mince for today beef mince turkey mince for tomorrow and i have two mints then because i there there's no turkey mince in aldi yesterday when i was cooking so i have two two lots of mints then for monday and i have my cordial then for my water and i have my three caffeinated beverages for the next three days so guys if i can stay on track and stay organized while even traveling to dublin which is like a three hour spin from cork um, then there's no reason for you not to stay on plan guys if you want to reach your fitness goals this is what you need to be doing you need to be organized like i have everything weighed out 100 grams of oats in, in, in the tree then i have my cocoa pops weighed out for after my workout all my meals planned out and um, like i could go to some restaurants like i'm actually going to save a lot of money here as well because i'm not going to be going buying food anymore because if i was go if i was to buy food like buy meals I'm talking 10 15 euro at least um per meal and like all this food here for the weekend is going to keep is probably like worth 30 euro i'd say to be honest and that's for this evening um saturday which is tomorrow sunday and monday as well so so guys what you need to do you just need to eliminate the excuses and then the results will come straight after okay, guys, it's time it's time to do a little bit of adventuring again i'm looking around like i'm literally walking out onto the main road and like some of the houses just look insane one that's like right behind me i think it's like 2fm studio and like i listen to 2fm like most days like between red fm and like 2fm they're like my two favorite like radio stations and to like see that's exactly where it happens it's actually kind of cool to be honest also i do want to kind of walk in there but i'm not sure if you're actually allowed um so i'm just going to keep walking and try and find some other cool destinations to look at um again like it's it's, it's, it's something special like but it's kind of cool to see where it is you know Car is so loud. Um, I was doing some looking on Google Maps. I'm actually not. I'm not that far away from the RDS Arena, which is like I think like a 20-minute walk, like right down where I'm walking now. And also as well, Lansdowne Road. So Aviva Stadium as well is very close as well, like another 10 minutes. So I was like, it's only like half four in the evening. So I was like, all right, do you know, do you know what I'll do? Get, a, get get my like 20k steps in today and like head down and see what the crack is. This again, let's go for a look. Probably won't be able to like go in or anything or do anything. So I think in total, I'm like a half an hour away from like my apartment. And I still have like another 20 minute walk to go, so probably going to get like two or three hours walking here, so my legs gonna be pretty sore after this. I literally sitting down for three hours, three and a half hours straight, and like I'm not even joking, my legs are actually getting sore, which is kind of weird because I never really get sore when I sit down for long. Um, but again, I never really sit down for that long either. But um, again, doing all this walking now, I'm going to have sore legs tomorrow. <laughs> I've been walking now for I think like 15, 20 minutes. I think I'm going to come up into Ballsbridge now, like Ballsbridge is this actual place. And also, well, the British Embassy is right here. This is like massive. All like the Polish embassy and all the Lithuanian ones there are all like small. This one's actually kind of big. Um, but yeah, literally coming up into Balls Bridge right now and it's kind of getting a little busy. Oh, nice to be back. 
I'm just going to turn on the big bag interior we have in the back room. What a show. So, because I was actually up for a while, I actually missed out on some meals. So I'm having two meals in one. Um, I'm having my mince, my beef mince, my turkey mince, and I'm having all the carbs, all the rice in one meal as well. So this is going to be one heck of a meal. And also as well as a bunch of veg as well. I'm just cooking my veg because I went to Aldi a while ago. And so after my little stroll around there, like I went to see a lot of places. And um, I right, so called down to Aldi, um, which is like 10 minutes down the road. Um, so I drove down there and um, got some bits, got some veg as well as that's cooking. So after I eat this, I'm just going to like leave a set and then I'm going to have my veg after because I actually do really enjoy my veg. And obviously veg is like so important as well to have in your diet. So I have some water as well with my orange and mango cordial from Aldi. Or the orange and mango cordial is actually my favorite and it's like so cheap from Aldi. So let's drizzle a little bit of barbecue sauce over the top now as well. So it's just the Heinz, um, smoky and rich. And um, I'm going to mangle this down while watching some big, some big bang theory. Um, it actually feels, I actually feel very independent right now. It feels like I almost have like my own place. Even though it's only for a few days, like you know, it's actually um, such a good feeling because it's like it's it was like my own, it's like my own space, my own independence. Here's eating my meals. Going to get some work done as well after, um, so it's going to be um, a nice few days actually. So yes, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to mang this down straight away. And guys, I'll see you tomorrow, and I will see what's in store for tomorrow's day. It's going to be interesting. I haven't planned it yet, so I must plan it out as well. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. Yeah, so in the time of breakfast, I just made, made up my ready break. So 100 grams of ready break, oats, there's 30 grams of whey isolate, and I have some hot water as well mixed in there. So very nice, I actually love this meal. Um, usually I have it like as the oat cookie, if you've seen my previous video, uh, make sure I go back and check it out. Well, one of my previous videos actually the full day of eating on my re reverse dating phase. Um, I usually make this into like a bit of a cookie, a pancake, like a big, huge pancake. Um, so if you, if you want to go back, check it out, it's actually very tasty. And I put some like jam and like peanut butter on it as well. Um, but yeah, this is my breakfast for this morning. I'll probably head off then because I have to be there. I have to be at the place now for yeah, it's twenty to eight right now, and I have to be there at twenty to nine. So I have an hour to spare. It's only like a ten minute drive down the road, and I saw. Okay, it is pre-work on meal time and uh, we are heading to the gym very soon. Um, right now it is, what time is it? Half five. Half five on the button actually. Um, so I have my pre-work on meal. Again, I'm sticking to my usual because why change it up. So I'm having 250 grams of raspberries, one banana, and I have my pre-work on bagel then. So one whole bagel, one egg, two low-fat sausages and two turkey rashers. Again, this is my usual pre-work on meal. Again, it works perfectly, sits nicely on my stomach. I have a great workout. So why change it? Also as well the Euros on in the background, Wales and Denmark. Denmark just scored an absolute screamer of a goal there. They nearly scored, ah, they nearly scored again, oh my god. Um, I actually hope Denmark do go fair because of, because of Christian Eriksen, to be honest. It was actually tragic what happened. And we're heading to Westside Gym today, so it's like a half an hour drive. Um, so once I have this, I'm going to hop straight into the camera and go straight to the gym. So yeah, just before the evening, I'm going to make a pure drink. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm actually having today. Um, so seeing as I'm training in the evening, as I said, it's like half five right now, but it's probably like quarter to six. I'm going to have like a stim free pre workout. Um, so, again, no caffeine because I want to be able to sleep tonight. So, yes, we're going to go for a big full scoop because we want a juicy leg pump today. You know, my legs are still kind of like a little bit sore from like all the walking yesterday. And like, so today, um, I was using my legs a lot as well. I was doing like a lot of like exercise demonstrations and kind of stuff. So, um, but anyway, no excuses. We keep training hard. If we want big legs, then we need to keep putting in the work. So, yeah, I have a full scoop of the stim free and I'm having a scoop of creatine as well. Um, so I'm going to get my 5 grams, which is like a heaping scoop. So these scoops are actually, these scoops are like 3 grams. So I'm going to throw in one, one and like a half, kind of, one and a bit. But yeah, I'm going to mix it up um, and I'm going to head to the gym. I'll sip away on this now while I'm driving off because it's like a half an hour spin as I said. Also that pre-workout meal was so tasty as well, it's like one of my favourite meals. Like I, I said about all my meals, but no, that one's actually class. Because like, I have some like caramel sauce as well that I put over the raspberries and the the banana, so like it's almost like a sweet little like fruit uh, fruit salad and um, the bagel as well is class. Um, but yeah, I love having that pre-workout and I'm having this 
nice tasty pre workout shake now as well on, hit, on the way to the gym. Alright, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the gym for an absolutely incredible leg workout. You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you dig any deeper now? I gave you all I own Put you on this golden throne But I'm a little stronger now You cast in on my promises Okay, so this gym is absolutely incredible. I'm not even joking. This is the second I walked in, this is the lights and everything. It was actually absolutely insane. So, yeah, I just finished off my leg extensions there. Um, quads are actually burning. That, that, that leg extension was actually so nice. Um, now, we've got some hamstrings because I'm doing my regular Saturday session that I usually would do. Um, but I have a few nice leg presses here, so I might actually change around my compound lifts. Like maybe the hack squat here doesn't look that good, so I might swap it for like one of the leg presses because it actually looks insane. Um, again, the amount of equipment they have like a certain area for like legs, a certain area for like shoulders, a certain area for chest. And then they have like a huge dumbbell rack like up the top if you see it. Um, I'll tell you, I'll give you a full tour of the gym actually, because the leg I'm down in the leg section, leg section which is at the bottom, um, and all the machines are free, which is ideal, um, typical. And all the chest machines and dumbbell racks are just full. So um, I'll give you a quick little tour after. But honestly, this place is absolutely incredible. So get on to my first set on hamstring curls. Up to my last warm set on um, hamstring curls, and like I'm looking around, and like actually, the amount of variations they have for like every single exercise, they have like two machines for every single like variation. So like, they have like I don't know how many back pull downs, like lat pull downs, machines, lat pull down cables, there's like two leg extension machines, two hamstring curl machines. Um, as I said, loads of leg press variations, there's like four like bunches of cables. Um, so like this gym is absolutely packed. Like I was looking at it on Instagram, like I didn't think it was that impressive on Instagram. But literally the second I walked in, I was like, to your man, I was like, holy fuck. Um, and then he was like, yeah, man. That's like that, that's everybody's reaction. And I was just blown away, honestly. Uh, if, you, if you could have seen my uh, initial reaction, you'd be like, what? Um, but yeah, this place is insane, honestly. So I'm going to go to my last warm set of hamstrings. <laughs> So sick, so I'm gonna actually use this as my next exercise. Okay, so we're practicing our safe sets with our high body bent. Again, guys, make sure you always practice safe sets no matter what. Every single set you do has to be a safe set or it's not really a proper set and it isn't growing you any muscle mass at all. Jordan, this gym is like actually lacking is the music like down in this area because it's like such a big like um, like warehouse you could say um, such, such a big space and there's like no music like down here it's all coming from up there so they should have a speaker in the corners on here and it would actually be ideal because it would just be sound everywhere. Like it's still loud enough down here, you might hear it nicely here but um, again it's, it's all the speakers are up in that area which is kind of far away. Like you think you need the tunes when you're training legs like you know so Maybe they just presumed that everyone was just not training legs. Sweat mad. This leg session is actually powerful. This is the vibe of this like new gym and like such a like a class gym, honestly. Uh, but on my last set now on hacks. hacks. I can't even talk. On my last I know in hack squat. You're getting practicing my safe sets. Also Keen, if you're watching, you better be practicing your safe sets, man. You're training on your own. You're training on your own this weekend. You better be practicing your safe sets. The 
finish up on a hex call, we're actually starting to sweat now, honestly. It's kind of warm in here, even though I probably should take the jumper off, to be honest. Because uh, leg days are so taxing anyway. So we have our leg extensions done, hamstring curls done, hack squat now done, two heavy sets, or two top sets on the hack squat. Um, now we're going to move on to our duckers, because obviously just because there's loads of presses, um, leg presses and stuff, doesn't mean we can um, neglect like our smaller muscle groups like our adductors and stuff. So I'm going to do two sets now, two top sets on the adductors, and move on to then one of the nice leg presses over here. Um, again, the vibes around here are incredible. Like, and like I'm planning on like visiting this gym once. So today and then like tomorrow, we'll go to, and then tomorrow we'll go to a different gym, and then Monday as well. I'm here as well. I'll go to a different gym again. So try three, three different gyms. But, like I just want to train here all three days because all the leg leg equipment is this class. Like I'm training push tomorrow, and like, there's so many cool like chest presses, chest flies, so many cables as well. Like so, I'm very tempted to train chest here as well tomorrow, um, and then as well pull because there's so many back machines. So many rows, so many pull downs, so many variations, so many to choose from. Like you come in here and have a different workout, every single workout. I'm not even joking, like it's actually insane. This gym is this class, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy this session. And um, I'm going to really contemplate, see, see if I will come back here tomorrow or not. Um, but I definitely want to try one or two different gyms in my room here because they look class as well. Um, which uh, overall, this gym is incredible. If I'm, if I'm ever living in Dublin, I'm going to stay around this area so I can come to this gym every single day. Because upstairs as well, they have so many cool machines. Like they've loads of Stairmasters, loads of cardio equipment. And um, they've loads of more chest and shoulder equipment upstairs as well. So, um, this gym is just completely packed to the rafters with cool equipment. So, um, yeah, straight into my doctor's now before my shoulder falls off. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're four exercises now, and I move on to this leg press now. This leg press looks absolutely insane. Like I've seen this on Instagram, like loads of people using this leg press, but I've never used it myself, so I'm actually very excited because it moves in like a different way than like a normal leg press. Like it doesn't just go straight up and down. Um, it moves like kind of like at a kind of bit of a weird angle. Um, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it in words, but you'll see it. You'll see me using this literally two seconds anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use this now as my instead of my normal leg press, and um, then I'll see what I'll do after that. Um, I might do two or three more exercises. Usually I only do two more after this one. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I might do two or three because um, I still have loads of time. Um, still have like two hours left in the gym, so we're going to make the most of it. Two heavy sets again on this um, because the more exercises I do, the less top sets I'm going to do. So um, instead of doing three top sets, I'll do two top sets so that I can do actually do more exercises. Um, I don't want to be fatiguing my legs too much. I don't want to be fucking myself up on this, um, this trip. So um, I, want, I want my legs fresh for tomorrow. So, but still, I still want to, I still want to hit a good leg session as well. So. absolutely incredible leg work when I finished off I did that squat in the end and I did like my standing calf raises I did two sets on each um, I was gassed for them to be honest I wasn't able to like go full whack on them so I just kind of took it easy because I didn't want to be pushing myself too much I didn't want to be fucking my legs up too much you know so um, honestly this gym is insane and I was walking out and your man was like oh how was it and I was like man 
I have no words. This is incredible. The staff are actually insane as well. They're class. They're so sound, so friendly. Um, but I'll definitely be coming back here again tomorrow, I'd say, because the amount of chess machines they have is actually class. So I'm definitely going back to give it a go tomorrow. And um, as well, as I, as I was talking to the man at the end, like he said, there, there's like blue container outside, like full of more equipment. And like, I'm like, how could the gym be even more stacked? But yeah, incredible guys. The show is just, like, I've never seen the gym so cool. And, like the lights and everything were just perfect. Like all the, oh man, insane, honestly. If I ever own a gym in the future, like that's like the goal of the gym. Like that's what I want it to be like, in the, honestly, insane. Also, the kids in the background are having the absolute crap, which honestly, it was definitely worth 36 minutes to drive. Like, that's what I said on the Google Maps. So I think it was like 40 minutes after. I think I paid 3 euro as well for toll, because I must pay that online now later on. So I'm going through the toll twice. So 6 euro and 15 euro to go in, and like a, an hour and a half, an hour and 15 minute round, round trip. Definitely worth it, honestly. I'm going to go back, get my Coke Pops, and I'm probably going to head off to bed because I have another busy day tomorrow. All right, just before my camera dies, I'm going to enjoy my Cocoa Pops in front of you guys. Also as well, I was just on the way, I was driving home, right, from the gym. I had a class work, but honestly, my legs feel amazing after that. Um, just using those new machines, as I said, was just class. The gym was insane, honestly. Um, but right now, I'm having an absolutely class post workout meal. I'm having two Rice crispy Squares bars. On leg days, I have two of these. On regular training days, um, like push and pull. Um, and upper body, I only have one, um, just to get the extra few carbs in after the workout, because they're absolutely afraid right now, so I'm getting all these carbs into me to fuel up and to get me ready again, to get me straight into recovery mode, um, so my legs won't be absolutely afraid you know, over the next few days. But um, also, when I was driving home, and like, I was driving past loads of like pubs and like um, bars and stuff, and like they had like there were people who were drinking and eating outside, and I was like, it's, it's, it's a Saturday night in Dublin, and like I'm here training legs and staying on track with my fitness goals. Um, like, I mean, Everybody like I'm not saying everybody else like what I'm saying if it's anybody else like away from home um, Like on a Saturday night in a big city like they'd be either out drinking or having food and like I realize like I'm not even and I, I, Honestly, I had more fun training legs um, And I'm gonna have more fun. I'm gonna enjoy this more than I would having a big huge meal or a takeaway um, People might say like oh, I'm weird. You're sad or whatever. Oh, you don't like real drinking. You don't like real takeaways this is what I enjoy, like honestly, like you just do what you enjoy in life. Like if, if you enjoy going out drinking, if you enjoy going out, all that kind of stuff, you do what you enjoy, honestly. Like I enjoy this, I enjoy going training, I love bettering myself every day, I love to know this uh, I just have such a passion for fitness, like um but anyway, like it's just it's literally whatever you love to do, you, you should do it like and like don't let don't let anybody stop you. Um somebody else shouldn't be the reason that you like don't do something or do something um, like don't let your peers pressure you like this whatever you want to do if you want to stay in you, if you want to train if you want to prepare yourself do that but if you want to go drinking having fun do that honestly that's i i have nothing against that that's what people like to do and um, you know this is just me my personal preference is what i like to do so again guys do what you ever want do what you want to do um, and don't let anybody tell you not to and right now i'm going to enjoy this watch italy and austria game and um just chill out for the evening so it's going to be good post work on meal and again filling up those collections or stage. So yes, that's the end of today. Um so I'll probably see you guys tomorrow um, and we'll see what we got. For you.